coverage continues tonight as people honor his life and legacy. We begin with KNBC 9's Brian Johnson live in Fairway with how people are making the city blue. Brian. Yeah, Bria Chris. Well, Fairway, Kansas has a population of about 4,000 people. Most folks here don't know each other, but there is a deep sense of connection, which is why so many strangers wanted to do something to help Officer Oswald. As you drive through Fairway, Kansas, you will see signs of support for fallen officer Jonah Oswald. Yeah, I was devastated. Blue ribbons show love from strangers. I just wanted to say thank you and um, try to honor him as much as we could. Heather Bridgens knew she wanted to help the moment she heard Officer Oswald was injured. We all look out for one another and so the the police officers are just a part of our family as, as much as you know my family is. When Oswald passed, the ribbons became much more important. Bridgens put ribbons on about 10 statues, texted some neighbors, then social media took over. So that's where it really picked up steam um, and multiple Hobby Lobby trips after that. She says she made about 50 ribbons. Dana Thalman lives next door. You know, it just hits close to home being in your community and it's a little thing to just kind of show family and loved ones that, you know, there are others thinking of them in a time of grief and mourning. The neighbors don't personally know the police or have officers in their family. They simply want to show their support. It's just hard anytime you lose someone and you lose someone that's part of a community and just something to say, you know, there are those thinking of you. And in Fairway, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. There is a fund set up for the officer's family. You can scan the QR code you see at the bottom of your screen to help. We also have a link at KMBC.com.